One worm can produce 900 eggs, and that would be 100 to 200 cocoons. We're having a class for people that want to learn how to compost their food with worms. It's called vermi composting. They'll be actually getting worms tonight if they make their own bin, and they will be learning um, the anatomy of worms and the behavior of worms and learning how to do food composting safely and efficiently. These are worms that are bred especially for composting food, and they have a wider range of uh, temperatures that they can live in than some worms. We have two different uh, ways to compost food outside. One is a metal bucket with holes in the bottom, and we've planted it down into the ground about six inches deep. The other bin is like a sandbox, but it's open on the bottom, and we do have a cover on it that locks, and I do bury food waste in there for the earthworms as well. We actually have uh, a community compost bin in our little kitchenette and so everybody's putting their coffee filters and coffee grounds and tea bags and banana peels from lunch um, so we, we are able to do organic recycling right there. I'd like to apply what I learned here today in my fifth grade class in Garland Independent School District. I'm here to learn about um, kind of environmentally how, how worms work in our system. I'm interested in uh, environmentalism as a working with systems as they currently go, not doing radical environmental, but making small changes to, to make a difference. Basically everything that I learned here tonight I'm going to apply in my uh, classroom uh, probably starting next year. I love the fact that uh, Plano does this. Uh, it makes them seem very environmental. There are two reasons that our department is uh, promoting this, and the first one is waste diversion, because food waste is quite heavy with all the moisture in it, and we'd like people to be managing that in their own homes. But the second reason is to harvest the castings, which are really the most nutrient-rich compost you can get. Um, so you're getting rid of your food, and you're getting castings and supplementing the soil, and, and it's a really good cycle to, to have going in your home.